Yo, alright lads, this is the Geordie Jedi here, and Newcastle United have finally actually signed a centre back. Chance out in Bemba, we'll have to wait a while for this one. You know, I mean, we had him signed by like Monday, but I've always had a thing whenever we talk about signed players, I will never ever say Newcastle United signed, for example, Chancel and Mbemba until I see that bugger in the shirt. And in this case, I had to wait a little bit longer for FA to sort it all out, and it happened. It's all sorted, apart from the work permit, so we're probably not going to see him against Munch and Gladbach, unfortunately. Now, a couple of you are wondering, probably, how good is he? Well, I could bring him to a FIFA, for example, he's, you know, pretty high, he's about 63 rated, which isn't good, but a lot of people rate him as a very underrated player. Um, I could say he plays central defence midfield, I could say he's fast, he's pacey, but my favourite so far, favourite thing that S that we've been told about him, and this is by SP Anderlecht News, which is a Twitter feed, it's a bit like NUFC stats, for example, and they have sent out this picture yeah so it's fair to say they at least rate him pretty highly so yeah their fans rate him very very highly he's going to be the next Vincent company and as I've said he's got pace got a bit of strength a bit of intelligence by the looks of him and a bit of tenacity which is like which I like to see if you watch some of his highlights from you know well search on YouTube you can probably find a fair few highlights because I've watched one of them a lot of last ditch tackles you know he's not afraid to get in there a bit I mean don't, don't get me wrong it does pose a problem because you know we seem to have a very nasty habit of giving away penalties and giving away red cards especially last season so but it's it's good to see a bit of ambition from the club more importantly I mean but Bemba's going to be br I think he's going to be brilliant at least in a year or two you know, I mean, you have to remember that he might have been first team in Belgium, but it was in Belgium. You know, Perez is first team in Belgium easily. And I mean, like, star player in Belgium, Mitrovic. You know, it's the Belgian league. They're a good... It's a fair league, and you can definitely get good players from there, because Lukaku came from uh, Anderlecht, as did company, as did a couple of others, as in the Belgian league. But... Is it as good as the Premier League? Obviously not. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't think any clubs, any leagues, is as good as the Premier League. If you go to a court, obviously to Germany or France or Spain, you'll obviously get teams better. You'll have Real Madrid, you'll have Barcelona, you'll have Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich, PSG. You know, fair few names, but overall, the quality in the Premier League, I think, is just better. Like when you consider the lowest team to the top teams, it's just excellent anyways so is this guy gonna break into the first team straight away probably not you know you, it, we, we might have pulled out a Perez you know as in I don't know Colacini gets injured or Williamson gets injured hopefully and they bring in Mbemba and Mbemba does well that's what I'd like to see happen I don't think McLaren's just gonna force him into the team throw him in at the deep end and see how he does he's meant to be brilliant but you know let's be realistic yeah we gotta be careful. Anyways, it's nice to see the club showing a bit of ambition, spending money, and I mean real money. Hopefully, the next player we'll see on here is Charlie Austin. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? It's been the Jordy Jedi. Leave a like if you can. It really helps. Subscribe for more videos. See you later.